Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 3. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with our global calibration files. These are going to be the files that we upload to our Holly HP or Dominator boxes to begin our calibration process. We're going to be looking at how to properly save the calibration files and creating proper file structure so that when we're working with a project or a vehicle, we're going to be able to find all the different various revisions we're going to be working with. I'll be also illustrating how to properly save the files so that we can go backwards in our calibration process and keep ourselves organized. We're going to have a lot to learn, so let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our global files, global folders, and proper file management in our Holly software. Now, this is very basic information, but we need to make sure we get this out of the way first so that when we're doing our calibration process, we're going to give ourselves a way that we can step backwards in the calibration process as well as just having proper file management so we can find files very easily if we want to go and email a file um, or if we want to go and just access the file in an offline mode. So in order to do this, let's jump into open global file here at the top. That's going to bring us into our main directory here to access the base calibration files from Holly. So we can find custom cals and base cals. These are going to be the folders that are defaulted within the software. We're able to go in and create our own folders in here so that we can do it for a client that we're working with. You might want to save a folder to a client or to the particular project you're working with, depending on how you want to name your folders or files. It's really going to be up to you, but you want to make sure you have proper file management. So let's take a look here in the custom cal section. If we double, uh, double click here on the folder, that's going to take us into a, another subdirectory under Mopar, GM, or Ford. So Holly has broken down the base calibration files or the global files here under different kinds of uh, marks of cars. So we'll go here to GM. And let's go here between our LS, big block, or small block engine. So this is now going to be engine specific. Let's go to LS here. And now we can find our global files associated with different kinds of setups here. So we can see here LS1, we can see here LS2, drive-by wire. It's going to be noted here, twin turbo drive-by wire. We're able to select any of these base global files to upload to our HP or Dominator to get started with. So let's just jump out of here to home and get an idea of file structure. So what we're able to do here is create, again, a custom folder for the project that we're working with or the client that we're working with. I'm going to go here to choose or create new directory. That's going to allow me to add a new folder in here to save my files to. So what I'm going to do here under global files, I'll say make new folder and I can name this here EPA tutorials or tutorials fine and then click OK and then we can see here if we go to home we're going to be jumping back into our main directory so we can see custom cows base cows EPA tutorial. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.